Hey, what's up guys? Welcome in this new video. Today we are talking about the new Radio Master TX12. It's really, really inexpensive and it's damn powerful. This is one of the great things about this radio. It's, it's a real hobby grade radio and we'll talk about that in just a minute. So, as I said, this radio is not a toy. It's a real hobby grade radio and all of this for $70. And I will go into detail about this radio. This radio is small. It's way smaller than what you are used to if you are used to any big brand radio. Uh, I will show you right now compared to a Terranis. It's way smaller and way lighter. It's only 363 grams without batteries. And talking about batteries, uh, this radio takes two cell lithium ion batteries or LiPo batteries. It comes with a battery tray for the 18650. Uh, I prefer to use uh, LiPo because I don't have lithium ion right now, but it works great with both. So as I said, this radio is kind of small, but to be honest, it even fit my big hands. Uh, it's just nearly as comfortable or maybe even more comfortable than my usual X90. I, I kind of like it even if my <laughs> fingers are touching right there, but it's, it's really comfortable because it's light and it's tall enough. Some, some radios are too short and it's not comfortable, but this one is tall enough and it's just sit perfectly in my hands. One good thing is it will fit really well with small hands too. So if it's for a children or someone with smaller hands, uh, it will be perfectly fine because with bigger radios I've seen sometimes some children really having a big trouble to, to try to maneuver the sticks correctly because the radio is too big for them or just need to do an hybrid pinch or something like this even if they would prefer maybe to be somber. Yeah, this radio I think is really great and it can fit for pinchers or sambers really well. So it's quite good. This radio run on OpenTX and this make it a really powerful radio for a really low price. And this is cool because this radio with the wizard it integrates as all the OpenTX radio right now. It's really simple to do your first setup for a basic plane, a basic quad, a basic helicopter. It's really really simple and or a glider, it's the same as a plane. It's really really simple and this is what I like a lot about this radio. It's it's really accessible. If you are any doubt about how to program OpenTX, there is plenty of tutorials and it's the same on any radio that run OpenTX. Doesn't matter if it's a FreeSky, a TX16 or this one, it doesn't matter, it's exactly the same way. This radio run OpenTX but it has also the capabilities to bind to a lot of different brands of receiver because it's a multi-protocol module. The multi-protocol module in this radio is the CC2500. So it's not the very popular uh, GP4 in one, but still great uh, because it can bind to Gropner, Futaba, Hitech, Freesky and some other big brands like this. The only downside is it can't bind to DSMX Spectrum or DSM2. Uh, this only the GP4 in one will be able to or a module dedicated to spectrum So yeah, that's the little downside But as you can see there is a JR Bay module on the back and it's perfectly fine Because if you are missing something you can just add a module or if you want to add crossfire or anything like this To do long-range drone or something like this you can do this on this radio too. All the things are listed on the website of Radio Master, link in the description. This radio is also with a USB-C cable, so it's great because it's really modern. And with this cable, you can update the radio and you can plug it also to the simulator. This radio is 12 channels, so it's really great because it's enough for really most of the use. 
uh, for my FCK I use only 8 channels on my Terranis so this is plenty to even do some F3K flying. So the channels are obviously the four channels from the sticks, the four three position switch on both of the shoulders, there is two momentary switches here, it's like uh, computer mouse switches, and there is also two sliders, one on each side. That's great because we don't see sliders that often on entry level radio and i like that a lot because i use a lot of sliders when flying f3k or even slope soaring gliders and now let's talk a bit about the gimbals many people say oh it's not all sensor gimbals so it will not last long until few years ago we used only potentiometer gimbals and it was not a problem because they last at least two or three years and it's not that expensive to replace. And for this radio, it will be even more true because at least it will last two or three years. If it's your beginning radio, it doesn't matter that much because I think you will upgrade uh, at least in two or three years. And if you manage to have one that wear out before that, it will be quite inexpensive to replace. I think it will be really cheap to replace a stick like this when I see the price of the radio. So now about my user experience. So I flew it all the weekend with various models, VTPR, flying wings, uh, on launch glider too. So what is my experience with this radio? To be honest, it's great because it fits well on the backpack and you can just fold the handle, it takes <laughs> even less space. It's really light so you don't feel it in your backpack also. and. It's comfortable to fly it. Uh, I lengthen the the sticks because you, it's adjustable, so it's quite great for this. The range is perfect. I think it's the best deal right now if you are a beginner, or even if you want a spare radio you want to use for your foamies or things like this. It's a great deal. I have no complaint about it. It's it's just great. That's it. So. Yeah, that, that's about it. It's a great radio. For me, there is nearly no downside apart from it doesn't bind to DSMX receivers. So all the bind and fly from Park Zone or, or E-Flight or things like this will not work straight out of the box with this radio. Or you need to put an other module here or you need to change the receiver on the plane from E-Flight or Park Zone or Spectrum or something like this. But that's the only downside. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope it helped you to see if this radio is great for you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye.